every time we practice being mindful, we are exercising our attention muscle and becoming mentally bitter. It can take more control over our focus and choose what we focus on rather than passively allowing our attention to be dominated by that which distresses us and takes us away from the present moment. Mindfulness might simply be described as choosing and learning to control our focus of attention. In a car, we can sometimes drive for miles on autopilot without really being aware of what we're doing. In the same way, we may not be really present moment by moment. For much of our lives, we can often be miles away without knowing it. On autopilot, we are more likely to have our buttons pressed. Events around us and thoughts, feelings and sensations of which we may be dimly aware and trigger old habits of thinking that are often unhelpful and may lead to worsening mood. By becoming more aware of our thoughts, feelings and body sensations from moment to moment to give ourselves possibility of greater freedom and choice. We do not have to go into the old mental ruts may have caused problems in the past. Mindful activity. If you wash the dishes each evening, we might tend to be in our heads as we're washing up, thinking about what we have to do and what we've done earlier in the, in the day, worrying about future events or regretful thoughts of the past. Again, a young child might see things differently. Listen to those bubbles, they're fun. Washing up or another routine activity can sometimes be a routine practice of mindful activities for us. You might notice the temperature and how it feels, the texture of the bubbles on the skin. You might hear bubbles, they softly pop the sound of the water as we take out the dishes from the water. The smoothness of the plates and the texture of the sponge. Just noticing what we might not normally notice. A mindful walk brings new pleasures. Walking is something that most of us do sometime during the day. We can practice even if for a couple of minutes at a time. I'm for walking. Rather than be in our heads, we can look around and notice what we see, hear, sense. We might notice the sensations in our body just through the act of walking. It's in the sensations and movement of our feet, legs, arms, head and body. We take each step noticing breathing. Thoughts 
will continuously intrude. We can just notice them. Then bring your attention back to our walking. The more we practice perhaps, the more initially, at least, we will notice those thoughts intruding. And that's okay. The only aim of mindful activity is to bring our attention back continually noticing those sensations from outside and within us. Mindfulness is an ancient Eastern practice which is very relevant to our lives today. Mindfulness is a very simple concept. Mindfulness means paying attention in a particular way or purpose in the present moment, non-judgmentally. Mindfulness does not conflict with the beliefs and traditions, whether in cultural or scientific. It is simply a practical way to notice thoughts, physical sensations, sights, sounds, Smells. I think we might not normally notice. The actual skill might be simple, but because it is different to how our minds normally behave, it takes a lot of practice. We might go out into the garden, and as we look around, we might think, but because it is different to how our minds normally behave, takes a lot of practice. We might go out into the garden. As we look around, we might think, that grass really needs cutting. That vegetable patch looks very untidy. A young child, on the other hand, will call over excitedly. Hey, come and look at the ant. Mindfulness can simply be noticing what we don't normally notice because our, because our heads are too busy in the future or in the past. Thinking about what we need to do or going over what we have done. Being mindful helps us to train our attention. Our minds wander about 50% of the time, but every time we practice being mindful, we are exercising our attention muscle and becoming mentally fitter. Mindfulness can simply be noticing what we don't normally notice because our heads are too busy in the future or in the past thinking about what we need to do or going over what we have done. Being mindful helps us to train our attention. Our minds wander about 50% of the time, but every time we practice being mindful, we are exercising our attention muscle and becoming mentally fitter. We can take more conscious over the focus of attention and choose what we focus on rather than passively allowing our attention to be dominated by that which distresses us and takes us away from the present moment. Yeah.